Hi there. You're welcome to another singles devotional edition for the 14th of February. And um, we'll be talking about Valentine's Day. And um, we'll be giving a candid advice for singles. A brief history of Valentine's Day. There are many twists to the history, but the one that seems most credible is this. Valentine was a Roman priest during the 3rd century AD under Emperor Claudius II. Claudius decided to ban marriage among young people, believing that all married soldiers fought better than married soldiers. Valentine believed marriage to be a God-given sacrament. Valentine began of officiating marriages in secret for those who were interested, but was eventually found out and imprisoned. The priest was eventually beheaded and then named a martyr by the church because he gave up his life to perform the sacrament of marriage for the love of love and for the love of God. At the end of the 5th century, Pope Gelasius I declared February 14 to be the St. Valentine's Day. In contemporary times, it has become very popular. And of course, the devil has leveraged the need to pervert and perpetuate wickedness on that day. A lot of pleasant... A lot of pleasant things could happen on that day. Conversely, a lot of unpleasant things could happen. From experience, a lot of young girls would be deflowered today with their cooperation and sometimes without. A lot of hearts would be broken, several relationships would be ended, and several new ones would spring up. There will be lots of laughter and lots of depression swings. There will be lots of surprise proposals and rejections. In all of this, you must be careful to protect yourself and not get involved in what is wrong. For single ladies, be careful who you go on a date with. Do not date unbelievers or strangers. Do not go over to his house for anything, either briefly or to stay over for the night. If he does not have the fear of God, he's planning to sleep with you and he will do everything possible to achieve that. Do not take any alcohol for any reason, even if it is just 5% alcoholic content. When you get tipsy, anything can happen. And even when you choose your subjects, do not take them from strangers or untrusted friends when you are alone. Do not go out with guys where it is just you and several guys. Don't trust anybody. If he tells you to pass the night with him, saying that nothing will happen, he's telling a lie. Something will happen. Do not be bought over with gifts that will mute and kill your resistance. The price of a virtuous woman is far above rubies. Do not go out of your way looking for someone to disvirgin you. It will not add anything to you, rather it will reduce your self-esteem. Offering your body or sex will not buy you that love. It will only fetch lust and its consequences. For single guys, do not plan to sleep with your date or fiancé today. Valentine or no Valentine, sin is sin and the consequences remain the same. Do not surround yourself with wrong and ungodly people today as you may be influenced to do what you know is wrong. Know that for today there is a plan of hell to truncate your destiny and stop you from fulfilling God's call over your life through your weaknesses. Today is not a day to miss the reading of God's word and your prayer time. Ask God deliberately to help you and to guide you today. Once you know you are engaged and you have been sexually active in the past, do not get together alone tonight thinking you can handle it or that you've grown spiritually. If you think like that, the devil can trap you. Do not drink. Do not surround yourself with smokers. Do not go to clubs or joints where everything is there to stir you up. When you feed your eyes with wrong things throughout the day or listen to vulgar things, you could be pushed into doing something wrong like masturbating or watching pornography. So guard yourself. It is about tonight. It is not about tonight, rather. It is about your life, your future, and your destiny. If you know your fiancé is the type that would get cozy on you and demand for sex, then meet at a public place or in a restaurant if you must meet. Iniquity is perpetrated in secrecy. It takes a closed door to close your destiny. Woo! For those who are not happy today, if you are heartbroken for any reason or anybody just jilted you, don't cry. Don't even shed a tear. Thank God for it because sometimes these disappointments are actually God redirecting you. Most times it is not a rejection, it is actually a direction. You may not be in a relationship today, but it will soon pass. Your status does not have a forever stamp. All the married folks were once single and some of them thought they would never marry. What is today will not always be forever. Never get depressed today, rather thank God ahead. For what it will do in your life when you eventually get married it will not be late it will be the latest in town
if there is anybody to take you out take yourself if there is nobody to take you out take yourself out don't get miserable and depressed over that have fun today without compromising dress up look good hold some money go to a restaurant order some food eat well pay up blow yourself a kiss and catch it back have fun today the joy of the lord is your strength and that is where the strength to forge our head comes from now to the meditation for the day mark 8 verse 36 king james version for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul prayer for the day one oh god give me the inner strength to stay faithful and upright today two my god help me to obey your instructions as regards the celebration of valentine's day today three i reject every spirit of lust in my life in jesus name confession for the day i will not compromise today i will not be carried away i will not lose my god i'm not miserable i do not give you to depression the joy of the lord is my strength i receive the strength to forge ahead i receive strength to stay faithful i am obedient to the principles stated in the scriptures i will fulfill god's purpose over my life in jesus name action plan for the day Stay away from ungodly people. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international giving, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at casesandus.com. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage, and these books are available on Amazon and on Kada Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandlogs.com slash books. If you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like you to watch with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza, beside Trans Amusement Park, Odita UI Road, in the city of Ibad. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You have a lot of resources for your soul.